Nick Cannon has been in the spotlight since he was a teenager, but now he's making headlines for way crazier reasons. He had nine kids in the last three years, and today we're breaking down the shocking truth behind his massive family. Nick Cannon got started in show business at a young age. He came up in San Diego housing projects, and back then he read the Lincoln Park Bloods. But after he lost one of his homies to the streets, Cannon knew he needed to switch lanes and make it out. He was always into music, and as a teenager, he linked up with friends to form a rap crew called the G4 Dope Bomb Squad. They had a little buzz in the city and got to open for dudes like Will Smith. But Cannon's first real break came when he got an acting gig for a Nickelodeon show called All That. Cannon kept up the momentum and started scoring movie roles too. And at the same time, his music career was popping off too. He dropped his debut album in 2004, started his own record company, and was linking up in the studio with superstars like Mary J. Blige. Working in movies and music got him a lot of attention, but TV is where Cannon really blew up. He created the show Wild and Out back in 2005, which is still on TV today and has over 20 series. By 2008, Cannon had been in the spotlight for over a decade, but still didn't have any kids. He finally settled down and married Mariah Carey that year, and in 2011, they had a set of twins together. The good times didn't last long though, and in 2014, they split up for good. After his divorce from Carey was finalized in 2016, Cannon didn't wait long before the next kid. In 2017, he had a baby with a woman named Brittany Bell. At that point, there wasn't anything weird going on. Cannon was a 37-year-old dude with three kids, and nobody was asking any questions about the situation. But in 2020, everything took a shocking turn. That December, Cannon announced the birth of his daughter, powerful Queen Cannon. She was a second child with Brittany Bell. The situation still seemed pretty normal, but that was all about to change fast. It turns out that at the same time Brittany Bell was carrying their second child, Cannon was out getting other women pregnant. A woman named Abby De La Rosa gave birth to their twins in June 2021, and less than two weeks later, Cannon had another baby with a woman named Melissa Scott. He had gone from having three kids to seven in less than a year. And that's when people started to wonder what was really going on with him and his baby mamas. But while he already had another kid on the way with a different woman, Cannon and Alyssa Scott suffered a horrible tragedy. When he was around two months old, their son Zen started having some trouble breathing. At first they thought it was just sinus issues or COVID, but then his doctor delivered the tragic news. Zen had a tumor in his brain, and he had to go through a bunch of surgeries and procedures while he was only a few months old. Unfortunately, none of the treatment was able to save him though, and he tragically passed away in December 2021. Cannon went on TV to open up about the loss and broke down in tears talking about his son. It was a horrible situation, and that's why everyone was even more shocked when Cannon announced another kid was on the way just a month later. A lot of people have been criticizing him for having so many kids with different women, and Cannon told USA Today that all the negativity was getting to him. He also said that talking about his eighth child was even harder because he knew about the pregnancy even before Zen died but didn't know how to talk about it. But it wasn't just people online who had issues with Cannon's new lifestyle. It turns out that even his therapist was getting concerned. After he made the announcement of his eighth kid with a woman named Bree Tiesi, Cannon said his therapist recommended that he should take some time to himself. Cannon says he tried it out for a while and it helped him process things. But not before long, he was right back to having even more kids. He was picking up a lot of heat about his family life, but some people think the situation could be traced back to a totally different controversy that almost destroyed his entire career. Back in July 2020, Cannon put out an episode of his podcast where he made some crazy anti-Semitic conspiracy theories about Jewish people controlling money and stealing black people's identity as the true Hebrews. He also talks about white people in general and said, the only way they can act is evil. The backlash was crazy, and Viacom CBS fired him from Wild and Out immediately. He had been running the show for over a decade, but they got rid of him as soon as the podcast started making headlines. He was hosting on The Masked Singer at the same time and almost lost that gig too. But Fox decided to let him keep the job after he issued a public apology. Viacom CBS announced a few months later that they were keeping Cannon since he had taken responsibility for his comments and was working with Jewish leaders to educate himself. He managed to save his career, but all of this went down right when he started having a ton of kids. The real reason he's having so many kids might actually be darker though. In January 2012, Cannon was put in the hospital because his kidneys were shutting down. He survived the kidney failure, but a month later, he was almost killed by a pulmonary embolism, which is when an artery in your lungs gets clogged up. It turns out that Cannon is suffering from a chronic condition called lupus, which can cause all kinds of crazy health issues. You can't cure lupus, and Cannon started documenting his hospital recovery and showed everyone how bad it can really get. He says that some days are better than others, but sometimes he'll wake up and not even be able to move his body. 
Some people think that since Cannon is dealing with such a crazy illness, it's why he's not too pressed about the future and wants to spread his bloodline around before it's too late. But nobody really knows what's going on in his head. In July 2022, Elon Musk hopped on Twitter and said that he wanted to help the underpopulation crisis because the collapsing birth rate is a danger to civilization. Cannon responded by saying he's right there with Musk, and a lot of people called him out for being so creepy about having kids. Elon makes headlines all the time, but a lot of people didn't realize he was on the same wave as Cannon when it came to having kids. He had a son in 2020, two more kids in November 2021, then another one just a month later in December 2021. He's still nowhere close to Cannon though. A couple of weeks after the Twitter situation, Cannon announced the birth of his newest kid, Legendary Love Cannon with Brie Tiesi. He was up to eight kids at that point, but he still wasn't done. On September 14th, he had a baby with Lanisha Cole, but he barely had time to make the announcement before his third baby with Britney Bell was born. Just over a week after Lanisha gave birth to Onyx Ice Cold Cannon, Britney Bell and Cannon told everyone that their baby, Rise Messiah Cannon, had arrived. He wasn't done yet though. Just two months later, he had beautiful Zeppelin Cannon with Abby De La Rose. Then he closed out the year by having Halo Marie Cannon with Alyssa Scott on December 14th. Now he's up to 12 kids total, but it seems like Cannon might be ready to slow it down. Back in March, he told Entertainment Tonight that he's got his hands full right now, but he jokes about having more kids when he's 85. Keeping up with 12 kids is basically impossible, and dealing with 6 different baby mamas is a whole different challenge. Cannon reveals on his podcast that he has so many baby mamas that he got confused while he was trying to write them all cards for Mother's Day this year. He also told the LA Times that he sleeps at all of their houses, but he decides which one to stay at depending on who called him that day. A lot of people say he's one of the most toxic dudes in the game, and in May, he even hopped on Twitter to thank all of his exes for making his toxic origin story. If that wasn't enough, he admitted on his podcast that he's toxic to all his exes. It's clear that he's not taking the situation very seriously, and he even started dancing around and singing. Toxic, we toxic, we toxic, then a motherfucker. Toxic, we toxic, we toxic, then a motherfucker. Hopefully, Cannon focuses on the kids he already has instead of having more. There's already been a ton of drama coming out of the situation, and there's no telling what's going to come out next.